And then we got the same thing on the negative bus bar here. So we've got a negative coming in here and then one on that side. And then those get combined in parallel and then go off to each one of the inverters. Good morning, good morning guys. We're back at it again with another video. I do want to mention that I'm going to be at the Good of the Land Homestead Festival in Lindale, Texas, which is about an hour and a half away from Dallas. It is, uh, it's $10 for the day. It's November 17th. I'm going to be there doing a speech and hanging out all day. So if you want to come and buy some tickets, I'll leave a link in the description box and also in the comment section. I know that Doug from Off Grid with Doug and Stacey is going to be there. I believe also Hand Tool Rescue is going to be there as well. So there's going to be some big YouTubers there. It's going to be a cool event. All right, so I'm off to Jim's place of the Green Dream Project. I've been helping him with his solar system. So he's got four of the Tesla Model S modules, and he's got two of the Schneider 4048 inverters. So I helped him wire that up. Let's go check out the system because we had to do some pretty special and custom things in order to make it work properly. How's it going? Um, Mr. Green Dream. How's it going, buddy? It's going pretty good. <laughs> How's the solar working? The solar is working fantastic. All right, <laughs> let's check it out. So Jim's system here will look very, very similar to mine, but there's gonna be a few key differences. So let's check out the panels first. So Jim has 15 of the LG panels? Yes, sir. Nice. 15 <laughs> of the LG panels wired up three in series and then the five sets of three in parallel. Now why did you do a wood mount and not a metal mount? Uh, when, I was, uh, when I was building it, I was under the impression that this whole system might have to move eventually. Mm -hmm. So I was thinking of just a, a temporary system for like maybe a year, two max. Now that I've learned that uh, I can use this system and just wire it up down the, rope, uh, down the line, I'm probably gonna get this mounted on a uh, better, more permanent system. <laughs> <laughs> so when I saw Jim building this, I didn't quite understand why he was doing a wood mount until he explained it to me. So he was under the impression that because his shed's right there and maybe his house is going to be a few hundred feet that way, that you would ha that you'd have to move the entire system. But you can run electrical lines pretty far, you just have to upsize the wire for the voltage drop. So again, he's got three of these panels wired in series, so you're connecting the positive to the negative, the positive to the negative then running all the positive strings down one side, and then running all the negatives down the other. So he's got all the positives coming into the combiner box right here, all the, neg all the negatives on this side, and then we've got five 15 amp DC breakers. So coming from the combiner box, I had to do a bit of a dipsy doodle with some one inch PVC to get to where the trench is. So those wires are trenched underground and do his little adobe shed. There is. is that what it's called? Fiber Adobe. Fiber Adobe. <laughs> it's kind of like a paper mache kind of deal, yo. Pretty cool. And you showed how you did this on your channel, right? Absolutely. I got quite a few videos on us building this thing. <laughs> <laughs> cool. So we've got the wires from the combiner box coming into the shed here, going up into the charge controller. So we've got all of our wires nicely marked, so the red for the positive. So we've got our PV plus, our PV minus. And then we've got our battery plus and our battery minus on the other side. So the battery plus and the battery minus go through this one inch conduit and it comes up and connects to this bar here. The ground goes up, or the negative, goes up to the ground or the, the negative bar up there. It might be hard to see, but we've got, so the positive from here, which is coming from the batteries, it goes up through this wire, goes through this 60 amp breaker. So if we wanted to turn off the charge controller, we just turn off that switch right there. So what's unique about Jim's system is he's running two inverters. So these are the Schneider 4048s. So they can run at about 4,000 watts continuous. So two of these combined, he can run at 8,000 watts 
of continuous, and why is that? Why do you need so much juice? Because <laughs> if we look outside, he's got one, two, and behind that other RV, three RVs. Yeah, there's a huge uh, potential for a large draw, so luckily we're prepared for that now. <laughs> yeah. So Jim also has four of the Tesla Model S modules, so these are 5.3 kilowatt hours each, so that's a total of just over 21 kilowatt hours. And to combine everything and to split everything off to go to the double inverters, I had to build this custom box here for him. So I think this is a 10 inch or a 12 inch square metal box. So you can see the two positives coming from the batteries coming in this side here and going on that bus bar. Then we come across, we go through a big 250 amp fuse and then we split the two positives to go to each inverter. And then we got the same thing on the negative bus bar here. So we've got a negative coming in here, and then one on that side, and then those get combined in parallel, and then go off to each one of the inverters. And so then coming from each of the inverters, we have some three quarter inch flexible conduits. We've got one coming from out here, and they are combined together in this small box here. So we've got 250 amp fuses, so we can basically control the power coming from each inverter from these breakers. So then from these breakers, there's some big wires going in through the side here, which goes into the main breaker panel. And then we've got a big 100 amp breaker right here. And then we've got 330 amp breakers that are going to each one of the RVs. So then we've got the wires for the, for the 30 amp circuits going across here, coming out down this wall. Then he's got two 30 amp RV boxes mounted outside. And then the other one is run underground there. And then there's a box right there that you can see to hook up that RV. And so then if people want to follow you guys on your journey, because you live just only about an hour away from me, so I kind of consider you a neighbor. <laughs> so how can people follow you? They can check us out on, uh, on YouTube, Green Dream Project. <laughs> so I have a link down in the description box and also in the comments. So definitely follow Jim and he's doing some awesome stuff out here. He's gonna be doing rainwater harvesting. He's got his big, what, what do you call your humanure thing? The humanure? The humanure hacienda. So he's going full off grid. He's got his solar set up. So you're loving life now. How was it running on a generator for how many months was it? Oof, three, almost four months, I think, going on to four months. And it was just, it was rough because you're just planning everything around the generator. You know, you don't want to run the generator more than you have to. So you turn that thing on and it's like, everyone plug in your devices, get everything charged right now. Yeah. <laughs> and now it's just... It's, uh, it's been a game changer, it really has. And it's so quiet. It is. It's beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much for all your help on this. No problem, man. So Jim also lives in Cochise County, so that's why he's able to do all this stuff himself, and he doesn't have the county inspectors barking at your door looking for permits and stuff, right? You can that's just right. do it all yourself. <laughs> it's beautiful out here. you got the freedom, you've got the independence to do things how you want to, and Jim and his wife and your brother and your friend Grace. That's right. Brother-in-law. Brother-in-law. And uh, Grace is uh, their aunt. Okay, cool. So it's a big family affair going on out here. So, so make sure you follow the Green Dream Project and we'll catch you guys on the next video. Talk to you soon. Peace. You didn't even do the peace. <laughs>